Let's read the question sentence first. It's right here and it says, what is the cost of the vacation? What is the cost of the vacation? All right, sounds good. So everyone, even though we haven't read the entire problem start to finish, I think we can all agree that there's a vacation and we're trying to pay for it. Can we agree on that? Yes or no? Even if we're confused, even if we feel like we got it wrong, can we agree that what we're looking for is the cost of a vacation? Bet. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, I'm going to teach you guys a very valuable skill when it comes to dealing with work problems, and it's this. The numbers don't matter until you know what they mean. One more time, I'm going to say it for, the, for everyone, including the person in the back, including the person who probably just woke up from a nap. The numbers don't matter unless you know what they mean. Watch what I'm about to do as I read this question and I read through the information. I only care about the cost of a vacation, right? I already have that in my brain. Vacation cost, vacation cost. That's what I want. I'm going to read through and whenever I read a number, I'm just going to say this much because I don't care about the number. I'm not going to let it distract me until I know what it means. Watch this. So Rebecca has this much money. William has this much money. Edward has this much money. Okay, again, I'm just imagining three people right there. Rebecca, William, Edward. You got money, you got that much money, you got that much money. Next, they would like to pool their money together, bring their money together. Okay, let's add their money together. And they want to go on a vacation. Okay, so if we add their money together, can we pay for the vacation? Oh, but... They only have one half of the amount that they need. Okay, so let me picture this correctly. I'm looking at my friends, and these are my friends, and these, these are my real, my real life friends. Here is Rebecca. Here is William. And here is Edward. Again, these are my real friends. So. We have these three friends, the three of them together, they don't have enough money for the vacation. Together, they only have, what was that again? They only have half of what they need. Everyone, if we think about this, if we think about this in an easier situation, without these crazy numbers, quote unquote, if we think about it like this, everybody, I, Coach Anderson, I have... $50 in my pocket. I have $50. However, that is half of what I need to buy a plane ticket. Think about it, okay? Let's think about that situation. Let's think about my situation. I have $50, but that's only half of what I need to buy the plane ticket. How much is the plane ticket gonna be, everybody? If I got $50 and the 50 is only half of what I need, what's the plane ticket? Yeah, the plane ticket's $100 because think about it. If what you have is half of it, multiply it by two to get the full thing. So what's the game plan then? Well, for Rebecca, William, and Edward, we're going to say, hey, look, this together is only half of what we need. So we'll take what they have, we'll multiply it by half, or multiply by two, excuse me, and you get your full vacation. Because again, together they only have half. So if we multiply it by two, half times two is the full thing. Everyone, does that plan make sense to you? If we take their three amounts, Rebecca, William, and Edward's amounts, multiply it by two, we get the full vacation. Awesome. Notice this question is not a formula driven question. This is not a proportion. This is not distance rate time. This is not percentages. This is not area or, or volume or perimeter. No, this is just a problem where you have to actually read it and know what's going on. That's it. It's a problem where you literally just have to know what's going on by reading it calmly, cool and collectively. And there we go. Now you know what the numbers mean. The numbers mean what they have. 
So let's add up what they have. 235, 89, that's Rebecca. Then we have 99, 42. That's gonna be William. Then we have 126, 80, and that's going to be Edward. So when we add these three together, what we get is nine plus two is 11, eight plus four plus eight, that'll be 20, carry the one is 21. Then we have five plus nine is 14, plus six is 20, carry the two is 22. Three plus nine is 12, plus two is 14, plus two is 16, carry the one. Then we have ourselves three plus one is four, so we have $462.11. What did we say? Is that the cost of the vacation? Yes or no? Right now, is that the cost of the vacation? Right, it is not. We said that the amount of money that they all have together is only half of what they have or what they need for the vacation. So now what we'll do, we need to multiply this by two to get the full vacation. That represents half, we need the full thing. So therefore, booyah my party people, let's take that and multiply it by two. And now what we get, 22 cents, then two times two is four, six times two is 12, and that'll be nine. And that right here is the full vacation. Before you go, if you feel like these videos are worth my time and worth me making for you, then go ahead and show your love. Like the video, comment on it, subscribe for more. That way we know which videos you do like and which ones you could use a little less of. That way we make better decisions, better videos for you, and everybody wins. Do that, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's ace the ASVAB.